Well, as you know, guys, I've been on this planet a fair amount of time. And in all that time, I've been walking around with my eyes and ears open. And the biggest difference between male and femons, apart from the physical things inside of it, is that all throughout my life, femons have always been virtual signalers. They're all about materialistic things, show and tell. I mean, dare I say it, they're a bit shallow. Men, according to history, they always have been. Now, men, on the other hand, are doers, thinkers. Because the worth of a man is not what comes out of his mouth, but what he actually does. Femons are all about a persona of some sort, to create this persona. Then they can go on for hours virtual signaling with their mouths and say nothing. Just watch those femon programs. They come in and they sit down on a chair and do nothing but talk for hours and say absolutely nothing. If men sat down in those chairs, it wouldn't be very long before they come out with something sensible, meaningful. And what I've learned throughout my life, if you want to get something done, you get a man. And of course, that's why the world is in complete mess and nothing's really getting done, is it? Because femons are in these positions now for no fault, just because they have a vagina and they do nothing but virtual signaling. I got on a public bus the other day, which is a rare thing for me to do. The bus was quite crowded, mostly by femons of all ages. And I guess because I hadn't been on the bus for such a long time, the amount of talking that was going on with the femons, like cackling, was amazing. And I guess before I used to get used to it, but I don't know, maybe they're just talking more nowadays, if that's possible. But I noticed even on the bus, the drone of the femon voices, and not one of them was actually saying anything. Well, I guess it's an art, because I couldn't do it. Could you? Take it easy, fellas.